Hi, my name is Sebastian and today I want to show you an open source Java EE block application I wrote which delivers block entries written in ASCII doc. So if you don't know ASCII doc already, it is a simple lightweight markup language which you can use for any kind of documentation, writings, articles or whatever. So this is how my block looks like and all the entries here are rendered by ASCII doc and this is the source code. This is ASCII doc and as you can see there is no HTML or CSS included. Everything is just plain text and source code and some small markups. And these entries are stored in a git. So how does the Java E application work internally? The application connects to that git repository containing the entries and computes the diff each time it accesses the git and for the new entries ASCII Dr. J is used to render HTML output from that ASCII doc source. And this HTML output is then stored in a cache and each time the user wants to access an entry JuxRS outputs the HTML from that cache. So why is such a complex scenario for a small thing like a blog? Well, to be honest, I started my blog using static HTML pages, which were also rendered from ASCII doc sources. And I had a continu uh, continuous integration pipeline using Jenkins, which did that for me, which was fairly simple, but still a big turnaround as I had to wait every time until it was finished and I also couldn't use dynamic functionalities like logging or statistics or something else. So I wanted to write a Java E application. And yeah, why why I'm using Git for storing the ASCII doc entries? Well, as ASCII doc is plain text and it's in fact source code, Git just fits perfectly well to manage that and you get a history and the diffs each time for free and I personally found it interesting to how to connect Java E with Git using JGit and as you will see it perfectly works so well enough talking I will show you the source code so this is the source code of my Java E application you can also have a look at it it's on github and um, it is packed packaged to a war which contains only two extra dependencies ASCII Dr. J and JGit and it uses JuxRS to send the entries to the client. Here you can see a simple JuxRS class. This view here is a small JuxRS extension I wrote which allows me to forward the HTTP request to a JSP view. So just like the plain old servlet style, I forward the request to the view here, which allows me to integrate JuxRS with JSP, which is really helpful. So the resource class uses uh, an EJB to obtain the entries, and the EJB includes the cache where the entries, so the HTML snippets are stored. And this entry cache is a singleton session bean with bean managed concurrency. So what does that mean? What's that annotation here? Per default, if you don't specify this annotation, and the container itself manages the concurrency for you, which means it implicitly adds a write lock on each method, meaning that concurrently you can only access one method at a time, no matter which method, on that singleton bean. And as we are using a map, and to be more specific, a concurrent hash map, which internally does more or less the same thing for the concurrency management, we can specify the bean managed concurrency here to tell the, um, the container, okay, everything's fine, we manage the concurrency as, um, ourselves, you can access any method you want concurrently and we make sure everything is consistent. 
so the concurrent hash map manages that everything is consistent here so we can use the beam manage concurrency so as I said the entries are obtained from a git so this singleton startup class here checks every minute the git repository and checks for new entries and if there are new entries or change files it tells the entry compiler here to compile the entry to HTML and then it updates the cache. So the git extractor here is used to connect to the git repository using jgit and it collects the changes and computes all the diffs each time it accesses the git and each time it is called. So it then returns the changes here and the entry compiler is now finally having the integration for that ASCII.j. So this means now we have ASCII doctor content here from that string. This is the content of the file which is stored in the git. And now we want to render this ASCII doctor source content which looks like this to actual HTML snippets. And as you can see we extract the headline, the date and some kind of abstract teaser text which you see here from the entries using the ASCII Dr. J API. So ASCII Dr. J offers us an API to easy, easily read this content for, from the rendered content here. And then we construct such an entry which is then stored in the cache. So ASCII Doctor is a really nice integration here of the, of the whole well document management for, for me. So yeah, this is pretty much it. So you can see the, the git is accessed via jgit here. The entries are compiled using ASCII Doctor J and stored in the cache. And each time a user requests an entry, those um, entries are fetched from the cache and returned via JAXRS. And finally, via the JAXRS J JSP integration, it uses the JSP views here to render the content. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys still have questions, feedback or complaints, feel free to um, contact me via Twitter or email. So, thanks for watching.